Hey guys, this is Parker with Animaplex.com and I'm here to show you how to link an effect to a checkbox toggle with an expression in After Effects. This method is extremely useful for creating templates or linking a lot of heavy effects to a simple on and off switch. If you're already familiar with checkboxes and expressions, go ahead and grab the expression from the description and feel free to experiment. If you've never used a checkbox expression controller and you want to follow along, let's get started. So basically what I want to do is wiggle a circle based on whether or not this checkbox control is on or off. So the way I'm going to do that is go into a new comp and create a new shape layer. I'm going to twirl this down, change the path to 240 by 240, delete the stroke and change the fill color. I'm also going to change the layer name and hit P on my keyboard to open the position property. Now the next thing I want to do is go to Effect, Expression Control, Checkbox Control. And this is going to add a checkbox control, and by default it is unchecked. So now I need to link this position property to the checkbox control with an expression. So if I Alt click or Option click on a Mac, the position stopwatch, and open up this menu a little bit, and delete what's already there, I can create my expression. This is going to start with an if statement. So if I type if space open parenthesis and come over to my expression pick whip and click and hold it you'll notice that there's a line that comes out of the center so if I come up to my checkbox and let go it's going to automatically fill in that parameter for us if I come to the very end and type space equals equals space true close parenthesis space open curly bracket and go to the next line and type space space now this is where I want my expression to be. In this case, it's going to be wiggle. So if I type wiggle, open parenthesis, 5 for frequency, comma, 100 for dimension, close parenthesis, and go to the next line and type close curly bracket, this is going to complete the first part of the expression. Now if I go to the next line and type else, space, open curly bracket, next line, space, space, value, next line, close curly bracket. That is going to complete the expression. So basically what this is saying is if the checkbox control is true, so if it's checked, then wiggle the circle five times per second, 100 pixels in dimension. Otherwise, use the default value for position. Now if I scrub my timeline, you'll notice that it's not moving. But if I come up and check the checkbox, now if I scrub, it's actually using the wiggle expression. So this is kind of like an A or B. If it's checked, use A. If it's not checked, use B. Now, let's say you had multiple effects or multiple layers that you wanted to connect to one checkbox. The best way to do that is to add a new null. So if I go to Layer, New, Null, and I'm going to rename this to Controller, and I'm going to add another checkbox control to this layer, Expression Control, Checkbox Control. With this controller layer selected, if I come down to the expression on the previous layer and select effect checkbox control checkbox and come over to my pick whip and select the new checkbox control and let go now you'll notice it's filled in this comp layer controller so now it's referencing the other layer rather than itself so if I come back to the circle delete the checkbox control we were previously using and scrub my timeline, it shouldn't be moving. And that's because the new checkbox is by default turned off. So if I check it on, now it's using the expression again. Let's say you wanted to use two different expressions with this. If you come down to else and highlight value, you can actually type in another expression. So now I could say wiggle five times per second, but instead of 100 pixels, I'm gonna do 500 pixels, close parenthesis. Now, this is going to wiggle 100 pixels in dimension if it's checked, and if it's unchecked, it's going to go 500 pixels in dimension. So this is a nice way to A and B two different expressions on the same layer. You can also link things like camera depth of field, layer opacity, or quality settings on effect layers to a checkbox. And this avoids drilling down into the effect menus when you wish to toggle their status on or off, so it's really useful for that. I hope this method helps you out. Let me know in the comments or shoot me an email, support at animoplex.com, and I'd be more than happy to take a look. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.